Howdy everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today on this Good Friday, which is the day most Christians worldwide uh, observe and celebrate the death of uh, Christ on the cross, uh, I want to talk about self-defense and what the Bible says about it. So let's go back, let's look at um, the Ten Commandments. I have a King James Version in front of me. Um, there are some Bible translations that uh, take Exodus chapter 20 and verse 13 and they say, Thou shalt not kill. Uh, well, in order to get the accurate translations of uh, the Bible, we need to go back to the original text. So you can either go uh, to the Strong's Literal, you can go back and look at the Hebrew Bible, uh, but the word that was used uh, in Exodus 20, which was also repeated in Deuteronomy, which was also used in the New Testament in Matthew, uh, Matthew chapter 19, verse 18, says this, and he saith unto him, which Jesus says, Thou shalt do no murder. The New Testament says, Thou shalt not do, uh, thou shalt not do murder. Uh, but the Old Testament says something different. But the same original Hebrew and Greek words were used. That Hebrew word was ratsash. Ratsash means to murder. If you want to go look at the Strong's uh, Dictionary, they also use the word assassinate and slayer in there. So, uh, guys, uh, looking at the original text of the Bible, there is nothing in there that prohibits self-defense. It only prohibits murder. And the difference between uh, killing somebody and murder, the definition of murder, if you want to go look it up, it is the uh, premeditated and illegal uh, killing of somebody with no um, justification or reason at all. So there's nothing in the Bible that says anything about prohibiting self-defense, guys. The Bible prohibits murder. They are two different things. So I just wanted to pass along some of this information to you guys on this Good Friday. But uh, nonetheless, thank you for watching. Be safe, be smart, be skilled. Catch you on the next video. Thank you.